Hey guys, it's Emmy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to import hair presets into Reward Studios. Um, but let's go. So it's actually pretty easy to import sort of heat hair presets into Vroid um, Studios. Uh, I had a lot of problems with it and the tutorials that I watched uh, didn't really seem to work for me because certain things just wouldn't show up. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how to do it really uh, simple and then I'm also going to sort of share some of the problems that I had that you, maybe you had too and sort of how to fix them. Um, but yeah. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to your search bar down here. Um, now I will sort of put this uh, in the description. So so if you'd like to copy and paste it uh but all you're gonna want to do percentage the sort of the percentage symbol uh app data and then percentage symbol again and then this uh folder will come up you're gonna want to tap on that uh and then at the top uh you'll see app data you're gonna want to tap that Oop, not not double click it just one click it uh and then press on lo on lo on local low and then once you're here you're gonna want to look for a file named pixiv now, once you're here, press Vroid Studios, and then Heat Hair Presets will come up. Uh, now, this folder will be empty if you've never uh, uploaded or sort of input or imported a heat hair preset before. But once you sort of have it open, you're going to want to keep it like this, and then bring your hair preset in. And uh, now, a quick thing with this is I'm going to... This is the hair that I actually have right now on. Um, so, if I import this file straight in... This, it's not going to show up for me. It's just, it's not going to show up. So what you're going to want to make sure you do is if I click on it, again, this folder is, if I drag this in, it's not going to show up. So you're going to want to click it again. This may not be, also, this may not be the case for all folders. Uh, I'm just sort of pointing this out just in case it is for yours because it took me a little while to sort of figure out. You're going to tap that. But something would be here, for example, uh, and then you'd want to drag both of those in. Uh, now, they'll always have a preset name. So preset 74, preset 75, everything like that. So if it does not have the name preset, uh, that means it probably isn't the right folder. So just drag it in, uh, pop it in here, and then it will come up and I'll show you sort of where it comes up uh, in Viewer Studios. So once you have sort of your viewer model uh, up here, you're gonna wanna go to hair editor uh, here, and then you'll see sort of presets. Now, if you click the little arrow at the side, uh, the, the, all my presets in my folder will come up here. So if we just press preset 74, uh, then press import from pr uh, preset, then there's my hair. And also, this is it also works the same that if you've made hair and you'd want to export it, uh, you can just press export as present and then it will save. I uh, like that. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. It's really simple. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video. And comment down below what you'd like to see next. And I also do have a Twitch uh, where I stream sort of games like Genshin and others. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Emmy with a IE. I definitely recommend you check it out. I also do have a Discord server, which will be linked in the description. Um, but yeah, see you later. Bye.